Hey y'all, so let's get the fiber seed in and it's Whip Wednesday where I share what I've been working on. What's your couple things? And I know it's Thursday if you're watching this when I release it. So it's Thursday, but it's Whip Wednesday. So here we go. Ready? First up, did I finish my saguaro beanie? I did look at this. Look, look at this. I thought about putting on my headband. I messed up my fancy post dye hair. But look at this. Okay, so this is Synthwave's Retro is the multicolor I used. And the the black is noir. <laughs> um, but yes, so I used Sprout Wars today. I used one ball of each colorway. Um, Synthwave's Retro is the color of the month. Guess what? I have some already made. So if you want to go and get some, we can ship it out to you. Um, Dra -dra, there it is. This is Swarrow Beanie by Nancy Bates. You can find it on Ravelry. It is a very quick knit. It looks super snazzy. I really like it. I haven't even blocked it yet. So, ta da! Finish that. What else did I do? I got two little socks. Aren't they so cute? Anyway, so they, they look goofy to me right now, but they haven't been blocked. Um, but anyway, they look amazingly small and adorable and I finished a pair of socks this year <laughs> anyway finished a pair of socks this is the best little socks ever by Lauren Slagle Lolo did it I'm using the Lodge and Sprout sock y'all if you have leftovers of our sock yarn these are super cute so super cute I got a brilliant idea and so I'm making another pair <laughs> And so these are for my nephew Levi. These are for my niece Amelia. It's called Free Spirit. And then I'm going to make some for Penelope out of Back for the Storm. And then I'm going to make Reese his own pair out of Reese Man. And I'm using Lolo's other sock pattern. It's kind of like your basic go to sock pattern that has a couple sizes. So. That is what I've been working on, or socks. Who, the person that doesn't knit socks, I'm knitting socks, I'm getting back into my groove. This is awesome. I've been out of it for like six years, y'all. Woo, okay, socks. What else, what else, what did I do? Oh, so I went to Hoosier Hills Fiber Festival. And of course I got stuff, right? Okay, so what did I get? I got this from Susan's Fiber Shop. It's called The Weaver's Surprise cute little book got it for Penelope it's a little mouse family and a weaver who is making stuff so I always like those fiber centric books for the kids because they like books and I'm trying to get them to like books and they do so far so I'm doing it anyway what else did I get I went to a free lecture um at the fiber fest Mr. Fiber Sue was like, go, you can do it. And I'm like, yay. So it was on natural dye plants, building your own dye garden. And I have started to build my own dye garden. If you guys have been on here watching me for a while, I'm wearing a t-shirt that I used from my dye garden stuff. So, yay. And I think it's like two years old. Maybe it's a year old. I don't know. It's at least a year old. And it's holding up pretty well. But anyway, I went to the awesome lady from Across Generations, gave this lecture, had a little booklet, um, I now have a little bit of information in booklet form. See, there's, there are my books again. And, um, so I, I feel more prepared for the things I bought at Maryland Sheep and Wool and where I can put it, where I shouldn't put it, where I should put it, how I should contain it or not. Because those are important things. Anyway, I also went into her booth because she's booth buddies with me. She's next door. And I got this, which is the Master Soap. So it is takes away grease, paint, stain, ink, dye, clay, artists, multipurpose soap. I'm gonna give it a try because there are some things that I haven't been able to get out of things and soap is the way to go, right? So, yeah. And it does not contain lanolin. Fresh spearmint scent. Condition says it cleans. And now you know. Anyway, I also rewind to Great Lakes Fiber Show because I did, I found this at the bottom of my knitting bag. I got these really cool um, stitch markers from KB Gal Creations, okay? And they're on 
Instagram and Etsy, KB Gal Creations. Look at these stitch markers. Are they not beautiful? And, and, because I know me, they're locking. <laughs> Who's not going to knit their markers into their knitting? Not me, not this time. So anyway, that is what I got from the show before. Use your heels. Also, if you see these awesome danglies hanging from my ears, that is Flora's Fiber Frago. Frago. I should have looked it up before I said it again, y'all. Information. She's Flora's Fiber Frago on Instagram. Find her. Anyway, this is this. But all oh, this color, I have a surprise. So I got pictures taken of the fiber that I dyed. And it is going up in the shop tonight. Like you can find it right now. Just click the links wherever they are for you. And you're going to see that I've got this fiber up. It's four ounces. It is 100% superwash merino. And it is roving. And it comes in like 14 colors. So that's, oh, look, how about that for marketing? That just worked out. Anyway, um, so this is Mr. Seahorse. I just brought a couple because I, I couldn't lay all of them on my lap. I could have tried, but it wouldn't have worked. This is sea glass. I'm going to do it that way. So there's that. And then here is Con Edison. So I picked some of my favorite colorways and um, took those color combinations and put them in there. And as you know, with fiber, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, so you can pull them apart. You can spin it as it goes, however you want. But... Um, I've got those there for you. So it's, I've got subtle tonal color, not tonal, but subtle colorways, bright ones, and then your, your moody ones. You gotta do with the mood. Anyway, that's what I've been working on. Let's see what I can get into trouble with next week, okay? <laughs> Until next time though, happy crafting.